Hello everybody, this is a, another Very little gameplay game. on another little game. This is not for broadcast actually. It was actually I'm one suggested I'm from joking. one of my friends actually, uh, specifically uh, Epic Golden Freddy. He thought maybe I would like this and I was like, sure, why not? I forgot about seeing this. I remember seeing this a while ago with a uh, Jack's video when it was in still like a pretty early production. And I was like, I got it recently because it was had a sale on this. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. I already made my profile, it's just literally just labeled QT, just to make it easy, but yeah, let's just, just start, enter game name, just whatever. I don't even care, just name it the way. Uh, uh, let's just do broadcaster as the difficulty, because I think that's what that is. I don't really know much about this game, though, at the same time, I just remember seeing a little bit of... National Nightly News. National Nightly News, okay. How fitting, it's kind of a little later in the day. They want the election. Huh, okay. I also don't really have really any clue at the same time of what you do. So a little scared. Turn right. Oh. Hi David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Alright mate, Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've Cake got sale. Oh my god, that so, uh, photo. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're labeled the one, two, three, four. Okay. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end tiles for the show before mm -hmm. us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages. So <laughs> nice. You don't see if you make it go out in the posture. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh. Going in five, four. Oh. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay. Honest Andy's totally independent hmm. and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Ham's leaves win Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new Lawrence movie, The And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic. National Nightly News. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. So when it vanishes, I'm trying to watch the middle one because I think that's the one that I have. The But first, 
the votes are in, then it's a decisive win. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this because it's. Because he also did say that. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. Five, four, two, one. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. It's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning French. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh, a grade, nice. Okay. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience wants to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later we'll be hearing from the shock election winners advance. But first Get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, to go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh my dear. <laughs> That was a little bit of a mess up. Tell you that being with you here today is a Switch to two for the wine now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right now, just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter, <laughs> that, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful chap, he really is. I've worked with him on several movies. Lovely. What a wild ride this has been! And do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpassed <laughs> What? A love, of course. For free love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to I'm sorry I'm not really I'm talking, really I'm actually trying to get into this. Awards, although those three little statues do take quite a place on my mantle uh, With all the others, I'm sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. 
And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering, suffering. for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire, the little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? I'm trying to keep on switching back and forth. And I'm like trying to make sure. Result. Indeed, historic is the word. Well, difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Which opens next week. Right, I've swapped the show of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. <laughs> You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Oh, I got an A plus on this segment. Welcome back. 
And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters and I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh, oh shit, right, he's back. pissed. Get ready oh, to play. Right, uh, thank you all for coming. Okay. And, well, uh, thank you all where for do coming. I start? And, well, what a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard. You, the people, nice. you saw right the through their shack. I'm right sorry about the language there. there. Sorry, sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. Makes me coarser than a grown is funny. Coarser than a Memorably put. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. He's also they drunk, be too. Their shit in pants on and their Fuck. Again, but not inaccurate. I hear the beat. I hear, like, some beeping or whatever, and then it kind of throws me off. Ah! Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country who is wealth into the millions. You know this sort of, probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today... It's because I hear that one beep. Your passports. We you want them back. You want them back. You, you, you threatened before the election. First five. The first. You're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve and drinks in their private clubs. The people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. Today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. It we will put the wealth today. of this country back we where it should have always been. Country back in the hands of the people been. who created it. In the hands okay. of the people who created it. Today. It ends. Yes. It today. ends today. Yes. It ends and tomorrow today. we'll start making it fair again. We'll start making okay. it like, fair like we again. promised we would. Just and until like then, we ladies and gents. And until then, ladies and gents. We all get pissed. <laughs> I can't I argue with that. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Well, interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leaders of the advance. And, there our the and our apologies Hopefully for the fruity language. Hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. Hopefully we got if that not, bleeped out for you in time. Someone's going to be in trouble. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for so, new government, the country that's all from us this evening at the National Mikey that's News. All from us this evening we'll be back tomorrow news. with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. With this exquisite limited edition collection, my salad and I'm dying. Sign off now, and every week we'll send you an authentic energy source of green to add to your salad. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Week by week, and very soon you'll have a salad that really gets the. Sequence was an E, that's fine. I got an average of a B, that's cool.
Okay. Current wealth broke ass poor. Wow. Really? Really? Wow. Damn. Okay. Okay. In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national night. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. Bless you. So you've just finished filming your latest movie. Not fuck things up. Uh, yes, well, um, sorry, I said fuck. No, Is that, I'm really, I'm well, sorry. Lord... <laughs> sorry, I said, I believe you. All right, I'm curious how I did on this one bit, and then I'm probably just gonna end it there because honestly. This has already been kind of a decent little bit, I would say. So I'm like, I'm just gonna. Day. They said we couldn't do it. Out against us. Trick lay out against us. So the trick lay out against us. Against us. But you, the people, you saw right through that. I'm sorry about the language. You had a couple pints. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than a grown. <laughs> I just censored Granny Panty for some reason. Or, like, in between that. That's so weird. Celebrating. Put his pants on and opening their dusty checkbox. Again, We will be introduced. Set of tax laws. So all you public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. Okay. And earlier today, we revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn. When we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute fact. So 
People who pay you a pittance. So do you posh the people who pay you a pittance? I'm to get even richer. Advance. Okay. Yes. I suggest we all get I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. Edition. Blah, 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 I don't care about the salad. Sorry. Wait, what? Do I care? What was that about? Forty-eight. Or Edward the Confessor's discovered. Julius Caesar himself. Oh my God! Really, bruh. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Right, this is the rushes room. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see, they're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio during the actual broadcast. The difference is you can mute any combination of them so you can have a listen to the stuff you weren't allowed to show. So let the broadcast and give it a go. And when you're done listening to the backstage secrets, hit back. You know, see if you make me go out and posture. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. Yep. Trying to kill me. And yet. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, Sorry. southern Ooh. bastard trick they had against us. But the only tick guy is off today. Oh my. Day through an unexpected form. Oh no. Current wealth broke as poor. Here I see it gets better you and you open it. Sam Winston, Charlie Winston. Mm -hmm. We still got faces. Be honest. Your ideal holiday giveaway would be oh, that doesn't sound bad. Oh, I should have said equal. Oops. That's fine. Alright, day six, a family ma matter. Knock at the window brings you to reality. <sighs> so sorry, person in late Alex. No problem, what's going on? You must have seen all this crazy advanced stuff, the assets and wealth act, they calling it. Talking pe taking people's harder money to fund that lazy. It's bullshit. You ever seen Chris is agitated? 
Need a favor. Need to borrow your passport. Why? I mean, I have the bloody countries, but people always say, Do I look? And yet, yeah, please out. Oh. Surely there's no way. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you in Santa Cruz. Okay, it's like they're my own. What family is? But it's against the law. Find some of it myself. I don't know, knife. Whispered. Pickups. They just not say so boring to you. Screw the 1%. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Use the clock to time your head breaks perfectly. Okay. Oh, is that it? The fallout. Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, uh. I don't wanna quite do that yet. I think I'll actually do another video on this. Because honestly, this is actually pretty fun. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much about it. Thanks everybody for checking this out. I don't know if I'll really edit it because this is already kind of long as it is. So I'll probably just keep it kind of just the whole raw video up. Since I don't really think. Because honestly, I don't really care. I'm just probably just maybe cut some bits that were pretty quiet. But if I do, it's probably not going to be much anyway. But yeah, thanks everybody for checking this out. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.